Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Which prophet foretold the result of the ten tribes of Israel? Isaiah Nahum Ahijah Nehemiah The answer is Ahijah 1 Kings chapter 11 Verses 29 to 31. Ahijah dramatically tears his new garment into twelve pieces. This action symbolizes the impending division of the kingdom of Israel into twelve tribes. By instructing Jeroboam to take ten of the pieces, Ahijah is indicating that Jeroboam will rule over ten of the tribes. Question 2 How many cities were given to the Levites for their use? 56, 48, 34, 99. The answer is 48. Joshua, chapter 21, verse 41. The towns of the Levites in the territory held by the Israelites were 48 in all, together with their pasture lands. Question 3. Who prophesied that Judah should be carried captive into Babylon? Zechariah Nahum Jeremiah Haggai The answer is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 3 to 6. The next day, when Pasher released him from the stocks, Jeremiah said to him, For this is what the Lord says, I will give all Judah into the hands of the king of Babylon, who will carry them away to Babylon or put them to the sword. Question 4. Which of these prophets was carried captive to Babylon? Ezekiel Malachi Nehemiah Zechariah The answer is Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 Ezekiel received his prophetic calling while he was among the exiles by the Chabar Canal in the land of the Chaldeans, Babylon. It also mentions the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's exile, placing Ezekiel's prophetic ministry in the context of the Babylonian captivity. Question 5. Which two men hid in a well to save their lives? Jonathan and Ahimaaz. Gideon and Phura, Saul and Jonathan, David and Jonathan. The answer is Jonathan and Ahimaaz. 2 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 17 to 19. Jonathan and Ahimaaz were staying at Enrogel, so the two of them left at once and went to the house of a man in Bahurim. He had a well in his courtyard, and they climbed down into it. His wife took a covering and spread it out over the opening of the well and scattered grain over it. Question 6. Which prophet was suspended between earth and heaven by a lock of his hair? Daniel Ezekiel, Joel, 
Elisha. The answer is Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 8, verses 1 to 4. In this vision, Ezekiel describes being lifted up by the Spirit between earth and heaven by the hair of his head. This symbolic act represents Ezekiel being transported in the Spirit to witness the abominations taking place in Jerusalem. It served as a means for God to communicate His message to Ezekiel and the people of Israel. Question 7. Which prophet was sent as a missionary to the Nine Vites? Jonah Paul Elon Malachi The answer is Jonah. Jonah chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come up before me. Question 8. The destruction of Nineveh was the fulfillment of whose prophecy? The prophet Jonah, the prophet Isaiah, the prophet Daniel, the prophet Nahum. The answer is the prophet Nahum. Nahum chapter 3. Nahum prophesied about the impending judgment and destruction of Nineveh due to its wickedness and oppression of other nations. The city of Nineveh, the capital of the Assyrian Empire, was eventually destroyed by a coalition of Babylonians, Medes, and Scythians. Question 9. What was Jesus' last command to his disciples? Help widows and orphans. Love others. Make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them. Honor the Sabbath. The answer is Make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Question 10. Which apostle told Christ he had left all to follow him? Matthew, James, John, Peter. The answer is Peter, John chapter 13, verse 37. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Question 11. Who took Judas's place among the twelve? Matthias Stephen Jude Paul The answer is Matthias Acts chapter 1, verse 23 then they cast lots, and the lot fell to Matthias, so he was added to the eleven apostles. Question 12. Which of the apostles first suffered martyrdom? Andrew Thomas James Paul
The answer is James. Acts chapter 12, verse 2. It was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. Question 13. What were the first words God spoke to man? Rule the earth. Fill the earth. Be fruitful and multiply. Love your neighbor. The answer is Be fruitful and multiply. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Question 14. What is the meaning of Jehovah Shama? Jehovah is there. Jehovah is here. Jehovah is near. Jehovah is with us. The answer is, Jehovah is there. Ezekiel, chapter 48, verse 35. The term Jehovah Shammah comes from the Hebrew language, and the name of the city from that time on will be, The Lord is there. It signifies the presence of God among His people. Question 15. How did God manifest His presence at the dedication of the temple? Fire came down from heaven. A cloud came from heaven. Rain came from heaven. A thunder came from heaven. The answer is, Fire came down from heaven. 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 1. When Solomon finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.